In this tutorial, we're going to build this donut using simple geometry we built in Maya or any 3D software you want to use. And we're going to make a tiling texture for the donut and the frosting using Substance Designer. So here we are in Maya. We have our 3D viewport up here, and this is our UV editor, and this is a little bit of reference. Uh, we're just going to start with a uh, torus shape. Let's see this guy. Let's drag it out, make it a bit thicker. Just try to match this little image here. So we're going to use displacement and tessellation. So we need uh, as even tessellation as sort of we can get. So we're just going to eyeball this in, maybe there, maybe this one a little bit higher. That looks all right. And for the UVs, we want them to be uh, as clean as this as possible. So what we're going to do is we can just going to add a cut here because I want to see him on the bottom. And let's just grab this edge. Move and sew those edges like that. And then we're just going to normalize this. And I'm going to grab this edge because we essentially want it to uh, tile twice. I'm going to grab all these UVs. We say unfold along U like that. And we can click this checker here. Make it a little bit dark, darker like that. Yeah, that was good. And we can do our uh, delete history. And now we just want to make the shape look a little more organic. We don't want a perfect torus like this. So what we can do is just grab a couple of verts and then hold B and get our soft selection. And just like massage it a bit. can do a little smaller selection. Something like that. We can add like a blend to this so we can easily see our shapes. Yep, that looks all right. We can disable this. So this model, we just go file, export, and you can do uh, donut, FBX, or OBJ. We're going to render this later in Marmoset. Let's start by opening up Substance and we'll uh, customize the interface. This is the default interface. So we can start by making just our uh, Substance file. Use my setup. Move this one off and kill this. Move this one up here, tear this one off and put it down here. And then we will drag our donut FBX file in here. And we'll right click in the viewport here and say view outputs in 3D view. Now we can just see if it's hooked up. Yeah, so that seems to be working. 
And we'll save our file. And there we go, we're ready.